To begin the setup of the auditorium, go behind the equipment rack. On our rack, there is a power switch. If it's not on, turn it on. Get out from behind the equipment rack and go over to the equipment. The camera should be on, but the TV and switcher aren't. Turn on the TV and turn on the switcher by pressing the power button in the top right corner. You're probably wondering which camera to use, the left one or the right one. On the left one has a zoom button that you use to zoom in on the characters on stage. This is the camera you mess with, as I demonstrate with this guy painting the stage. The right camera is used for wide shots only. Do not mess with the right camera. Using the switcher is easy. All you have to do is move this fader bar up and down and switch between the two cameras, as demonstrated. That's all you have to do. Recording in the auditorium is easy. All you have to do is use the DVD burner, just like any other remote. Take the DVD. Put it in the DVD burner. Close the DVD burner and format the disc to record. Once the DVD has finished finalizing, remove it from the DVD burner. Take it and put it back in the case and mark it up as labeled on the case cover. This is the DVD labeling template. At the top, you put the title of the show and the date of it. To the left, the announcers. Right, cameraman. And at the bottom, the total runtime. Now to turn off the equipment, you just go behind the equipment rack like you did at the beginning of the setup. Go to the power switch and turn it off. Yep, it's that easy. And now we go out just to make sure all the equipment's off, which it is. What we have to do now is grab the DVD and get out of here. And now you know how to set up the auditorium for remote. It's that easy. Just take the DVD back when you're done, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.